It is time for the most OP formation on FIFA 20 after the patch. My name is Brabzy. If you haven't joined the squad already, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Let's do this. No messing around, let's get straight into it squad. So this formation is the 3-1-4-2 formation. I've trialed out loads of different ones after the patch and this one just stood out by a mile. So let's get into it. Okay, so first of all, the tactics. There's a lot to cover in this. I've gone a little bit Pep Guardiola with this formation. So I'll um, explain it all hopefully clearly for you so you understand what to do. So. Defensive style, drop back. So after the patch, drop back, rather than your team sitting back all the time, they now come up to the halfway line just like they would in any other play style. And when your opponent gets the ball, they will slowly start filtering back to your penalty area rather than pressing anyone. So this means that drop back is now dud in some formations. It doesn't work. However, works really really well in this setup so we are actually going to be using drop back in this one width we want this on quite narrow because when we're defending we're going to defend with a back five so we're going to put player instructions on some of the players to come back and help out the defenders and set up a big brick wall that your opponent's going to struggle getting through so four for width and three for depth remember put it on drop back one i will have a great disliking for you I'm glad we're clear on that. Three. Moving on into the offensive, and we're actually going for fast build-up on this one. You know, in previous videos, I've always had a bit of a disliking for fast build-up, but oh man, boy, it works in this one. It works so, so well. So fast build-up, width five. We actually want it to be a bit wider on the attack. You will understand this in the player instructions. Players in the box on five as well corners three i feel is just a nice little balance between having people up for corners and not getting caught on the break free kicks you don't need people up for free kicks leave that at two let's get into the magic room and see how these instructions work this is where things get interesting i'll break things down as easily as i can for you and then i'll show you in a game how these all work let's go so first striker, you want him on normal settings for all of these. Balance width, mixed attack, normal interceptions. Come back on defense. So after the patch, what this will do is your player will no longer drop back into the midfield like previously. Instead, they will just drop back a little bit, sit on the halfway line while you're defending. So they'll sort of turn into a cam. The reason we've got everything else on balance is that we don't want them running in behind. They're very much going to be a focal point for when we're building up our counter attacks. The other striker we want on stay central, get in behind and stay forward. So they will always be in the middle of the pitch, up front, ready to run in behind when you start your counter attacks. Top tip from me is use someone who's got a bit of pace about them and pretty good at playing on the shoulder. For example, I'm using Griezmann for this. Now onto the advanced midfielders and these we want on get forward, balanced crossing runs, free roam and cover wing for defense. So that means they will cover the wide areas when you're defending. Same goes for the other wide player. Same instructions. Okay, so moving on to your deeper line midfielder, you want these on comeback on defense, which will essentially turn them into a left back and a right back when you're defending. So you'll have a back five, almost like just a big solid brick wall. Going old Donald Trump on your ass. Chance creation, we want them on balanced width and support crosses, everything else, just leave it on balance. The important one is come back on defense. Now the other deep line at midfielder is exactly the same instructions. Now the reason for this, on attacking, they will actually bomb on and become a wide player. So you will actually defend with five players, but then attack with six players. Your, your opponent will just not know what's hit them. Moving on lastly to the CDM. Now this one wants to be on balanced defense stay back while attacking and cover center please make sure it's on cover center for this one so they will essentially sit in front of the back three which then turns into a back five once everyone's got back and all your defenders you want on stay back while attacking so before i show you how this is used i'm going to give you a couple of tips first of all in defending when your opponent gets the ball back initially you'll be exposed out wide because you've only got a back three so you need to do something what I call first wave defending. 
So essentially, on your opponent's first attack, you want to be pressing them with a midfielder or attacker, whichever. Just jockey them, stand them up, do whatever it takes just to halt their progress while the rest of your team comes back. Otherwise, you may find yourself exposed at the back. From there, what your defence will do is they will essentially just crowd the penalty area and sit inside that area so that any through balls, any shots, anything like that will get blocked or intercepted. It will make it very difficult for your opponent to break down. Now into attacking, because it's fast build up, your players will charge up the pitch. You will have a front six that's attacking and these four will sit back and defend. Now my tip is don't use fast build up as a psychological thing of oh I need to move quickly. You don't need to. You can play backwards passes if you want. You can hold on to the ball for a bit and let your attackers get into shape. What will happen is your opponent will get outnumbered up front and you will always have a spare man somewhere. It is really good for attacking. Let's get into a game and show you how it's done. When you find yourself losing in a game, this is a great formation to change to. This is an example of first phase defending, where you're stopping your opponent from launching a quick attack. Once you get the ball back, your players straight away click into attacking mode and create all sorts of runs through the middle and out wide. Even when you've lost your ball, your attacking midfielder will stay on the halfway line to resume your counter-attack. Boom. This is what your defence looks like when it turns into a back five. Your left and right midfielders turning into a left and right back. As soon as you win the ball back, they then click into attack mode and create runs all over the pitch. You will always have a spare man out wide and plenty of runners going through the middle. This is what your defenders do when the attacker gets near your penalty area. They will completely crowd it out so that any passes or shots will most likely get blocked. From there, look how quickly this attack begins. It's important to bear in mind the tip that I gave you about not rushing your attacks. By playing sideways and backwards passes, you're allowing your players time to get up the pitch. This is what your strike force looks like. Four up front with three midfielders coming up in behind. And that is just beautiful. At this stage, while your player is shocked and dazed by your amazing formation, you can now bring on the best player on Ultimate Team. Akin Fenwa! Beast! 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 Beast mode on! Hope you tear it up in Ultimate Team with this formation guys. Make sure to leave it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments how this has worked for you. Till next time, ciao for now, have yourselves a great day.